So hello and welcome to this video. I'm gonna be talking about how to actually get your first client um, if you're starting up a recruitment agency. Now, the first client is obviously the hardest um, if you've never done business development in recruitment. It's also something that's gonna kickstart your business. Um, without clients, you pretty much can't do anything and you need to formalize a method that you can sort of repeat on and on and sort of replicate it as you go along. So if you can bring in one client from this method per month, or even two or three, you can just repeat that every month. Um, typically the methods of recruitment haven't really changed. It was very much, you know, 80% um, was pretty much business development, cold calling, um, recruiters, if you worked at an agency or you know anyone that does, um, pretty much every director and business owner will tell you to cold call. And um, that's just how it is. And that's the methods that used to work. I find cold calling is, I do not mind doing it. I actually enjoy it at times. Is not that effective as some of the methods I'm gonna talk about in this video. However, in some sectors, cold calling works very well. I prefer to cold call because it's very direct. You get in there straight away and you obviously get a yes or no answer. Um, chances are it's a very sort of dynamic um, thing with the sales side of it. You can't actually just make a cold call and then say, okay, that client is recruiting or not. They're not gonna say, yeah, 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 um, we'll take you on board. So it's very dynamic, like I said before, how things work. Companies tend to you know, chop and change um, if they are using agencies. Probably because you're starting off as well. A lot of companies have existing relationships, so you've got to kind of beat them on price or you've got to beat them on service. Um, and there's many different ways. So I'm going to give you some methods that I use, which are highly effective, and it's going to suit you no matter what. Now, if you can't do any of these methods, chances are recruitment isn't going to be for you. Um, but obviously, cold calling aside, there's other methods. Now, what I find quite effective is on LinkedIn is not messaging people. Now, I used to add loads of people on LinkedIn in my sector that were HR managers or hiring managers, and I would send them a generic email. Sometimes I'll tailor make it as well. And I found that wasn't really effective. I mean, some people would get back to me, but I found it's the very easy option. A lot of recruiters will take this method and I've seen other people's profile. So I've known people that are, one of my cousins is a HR director for global company and he gets probably about 10 to 12 of those silly messages a day and they sound pretty much all the same even the ones that are trying to be fancy and sound a bit different tend to not get anywhere and what you don't want is a company that's going to say yes to everyone that just sends them a linkedin message because they'll be working with 10 other agencies so you want someone that's a bit more difficult to get in with um what what typically happens when someone does come back to me on an email if i say look i've seen you i couldn't help but notice you're recruiting for this position chances are they'll come back to me and say, can you email me um, the details? And then you might or may or may not hear back. So it all goes down to the email once again. Even when you cold call, um, people will typically say to you, look, can you put this in an email? My email address is this, this, this. I've made a video on my channel stating um, a live cold call um, and the lady that I actually onboarded as a client, typically she did say, look, just email me the details. So I find email is very more effective. Um, and it brings me to my email method, which I find probably has got me more than 90% of my clients. Um, and these are very large clients all the way down to sort of small clients. Now, what I operate off is a two to 8% method or what I call the two to eight rule. And what it involves is an email list of 100 um, potential clients in my sector that I feel are going to actually work with me um, and typically they have about 70 to 200 employees turnover is about 1 million to 10 million um, if that so that's the sort of golden area I want to do and now the two to eight percent rule typically works off 100 emails now I usually sometimes on a weekend uh, like a Sunday I schedule my emails to go out Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and I blast out 100 emails now these, these these do take a lot of time to get to sort of find. You use LinkedIn to find the emails, the names, and you guess the email address. Now, how you guess the email address would be you'd put the first dot surname or just the first name or the first initial of the surname or the first name and then the surname. After that, you will send out the emails to those people. A lot of them will bounce back. So I typically try and do more than 100. So these are 100 successful emails you send out. 
typically it converts a rate of about two to eight percent reply rate now that doesn't mean they're clients initially but what it is is build a relationship and you've got that um you know that sort of relationship or you've got some sort of message back look thanks we're recruiting now um can you help us with this 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 role what are your rates what are you charging unless you put that in the email sometimes you get no reply of course most of the time and um, that's sales um but typically it's worth it if you're going to get potentially an account that's going to bring you 20 to 30 grand so initially when you start off you really want to focus on this method i started my agency um from home where one evening on a sunday i spent going through the emails i would say it took about six hours um for me to do i'm quite fast so it might take you more than that you may want to start off with initially 20 a day and then move on to 100 from there now i typically onboarded i think it was about eight probably about eight messages back and i onboarded three of those clients um they were two of them were repeat business and one was just ad hoc but there was a lot of messages that come back probably five others that said to me you know we're not recruiting now or we've got other agencies and we use a psl so i would save those emails and follow up you know three four months down the line or even a month later if they're still recruiting for the role so what really works effectively is you might not get a reply don't think that these clients won't work with you chances are they won't probably 95 percent of them won't but if you keep those emails and you you know do a spreadsheet of where you saw their job so you'd go and indeed find their recruiting and then pick their email off, guess their email and send them a message, say, I've I've seen you recruiting for this position, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm gonna put a link to my sales template, which is a very simple message. I've, believe me, I've tested so many different message, methods, um, messages. This is the most effective one. And you can just put your sort of name and title and what sector you're recruiting in and your fee rate. Just copy and paste my email and send it out um, i'll put a link in the description below um, so hopefully you can just copy and paste that and send it out once you've done that and um, it's very effective you'll start to get clients back and what you want to do after you've got a message back is obviously schedule a call now the call will go unless you control the call you won't want them to sort of start asking you questions look who are you recruiting for what sort of companies have you worked with in the past? How successful were you? You want to control the call. So how I start a call with a client that's come back to a cold email, I would say to them, look, thank you for taking the time, Mr. X, to talk to me. And um, what I'd like to do, if it's OK, is just share a bit about my agency and what we specialize in. So you cut out all the questions and you just sort of say, look, we specialize in the finance sector. Typically, we work off roles that are you know 90 percent of the time it's going to be the you know finance assistance accounts payable and we see from our clients these are the most in demand roles we do we have worked with you know exclusively on some executive roles so you kind of keep it open to whatever role they're going to be recruiting because you may have messaged them about one position but chances are they've got probably some in the pipeline that they're not advertising as well so they may say look we've got four positions Typically, um, companies coming back to you, they're used to working with agencies and you just need to sound that a little bit better. You need to sound that a little bit more enthusiastic um, in terms of better service. So I like to give them a timeline. Look, just based on everything you've told me in the area you're recruiting for, salary you're offering is quite good. I'm working on a role that's very similar. and Or you could say I've recruited for roles last month and I filled four positions that were you know less salary so i'm quite confident so you want to still the sale isn't done so you want to kind of say to them look i'm the man for the job or the lady for the job and i can definitely do it so going back to that you want to obviously just get terms in place signed and um, i've got some terms that you, like a template you can copy off my website where i'm sending you the link as well so have a look at those typically you know the sales emails going back to the two to eight percent rule if you send out a hundred emails chances are you're gonna get probably two to eight clients so you're going to work off a two to eight percent um conversion rate if you use my template that's what's going to happen if you need help obviously sourcing names where to look what sectors i mean when you are emailing people don't go off in the pie in the sky sort of you know these blue chip FTSE 100 companies you want to stick to those 50 to 200 employees if you go on their linkedin page you can see how many employees they have now, what you want to do is obviously work out what the reason why I have that sort of rule 
is they're going to have some sort of budget. They're going to have, you know, some revenue to employ that many people, but not too much where they've got an in-house person that will be recruiting for them or they'll be outsourcing it to specific recruitment companies. These are typically the companies that will be using agencies. So try these methods. It's good to get you started. If you want a cold call, that's fine. Just apply, you know, 100 cold calls and you're probably going to get a 2 to 8%. But chances are these days, cold calling isn't as effective. I mean, I still get clients by cold calling. In some sectors, it works really well. But yeah, cold email, um, I would certainly suggest it. Um, and if you've got any questions, I hope this helps to get you a first client. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know.